guys so welcome back to my channel and in today's video I'm going to talk about why is it important to uh, properly tag your pictures that you're going to use on your uh, YouTube thumbnails and uh, this also implies if you're going to use them on your website or anything else that is going to be ranked by Google or other search engines so uh, why is this important okay so once you come here on this YouTube front page you're going to see that uh, all videos have their thumbnails as a preview uh, which is in most cases stating what you should expect in these videos to see so uh, if you properly structure your uh, thumbnail picture description and uh, tags it is going to be ranked by search engines through their metadata so let me demonstrate this how this properly works so uh, for example if we go and search for Google for anything uh, let's say like how to make money online we're going to see that this on the front page we are going to have a bunch of these websites as well as uh, videos from YouTube and if you scroll down it is going to rank pictures which are going to be most closely related to our search so uh, for example if you go to images you are going to see a lot of these pictures which have been optimized to uh, pop up in the search results so you're going to see all these creators from YouTube so under the titles name of this creator's thumbnail from his YouTube video you're going to see that uh, it also says that this picture comes from YouTube this picture comes from digital dominating dojo and so on and so on but most of these pictures come from youtube so uh, now i'm going to show you how you can do this and uh, how you can rank your picture over time to be in these uh, search results for any term that you're going to use on your youtube or website or pretty much anything else that you're going to post online there are a few things uh, to remember this is not going to guarantee a hundred percent rank for each picture because there are constantly competition and secondly the file type of the picture that you're going to post so recently i made this video on how to mass unfollow everyone from twitter and here i explain how you can unfollow a lot of people from twitter with just a few easy steps by copying this code here uh, this video is going to air within a few days, but before I post it, I don't want this uh, to be as my thumbnail here. I want a custom thumbnail. So what I did was to go back to Canva. And for those that don't know, Canva is a web-based photo editor where you can create awesome thumbnails or cover photos or pretty much any other brochure or whatever comes to your mind, uh, whether you're doing online business or just doing uh, something related to your workplace or just designing because you simply like to design and here you see that this thumbnail is fairly simple and it is comprised of just a few keywords which are uh, describing what is this video about and uh, as you can see i chose background i chose some simple font and i entered this twitter logo so let me get back to the point uh, once you go here and download this you know, what is going to be suggested is png what you might not know is that PNG files are not allowing you to uh, tamper with their tags. Uh, so what you have to do is that you have to select a JPG standard instead. Then uh, select this as a last picture, uh, because if you have, uh, like me, several pictures before it. So you have to download this as a JPEG, not any other format. And once it is downloaded, you're going to have it on your computer so uh, I'm going to show you uh, here yeah this here in the download folder okay so what we have to do right now is that we have to go and open it and right click on this and go to properties go to details and here you're going to find tags for the purpose of this video i also downloaded a png file as you can see the same picture just png so if you go here and click properties and then go to details you're not going to find the tags field so this is why it is important to have pictures as jpg so uh, once here in the properties i just go to details and the first and the most important thing is to title your picture title it as your video is going to be named on YouTube and in my case it is going to be this one just copy it head back to the picture and paste it here 
once you're on the tag section you're going to have to type tags related to your pictures for detailed type discovery and search terms i advise that you use a keyword planner from google analytics and this keyword planner serves as a great tool to ease your keyword ranking so what you have to do is that you have to go here and uh, delete uh, my previous search and simply search something related to uh, what our video is going to be about and in this case it is going to be about unfollowing of uh, people from Twitter. Now I'm going to get results for this. Okay, so here we see that this is already ranked uh, from the most searched to the lowest searched by volume. And uh, here uh, you're going to have this competition and for this search term competition is ultra low for everything. So what you have to do is you just have to uh, discover these uh, words and use them as tags. So depending on your thematic or whatever you're making video or picture or text or anything about, uh, you just have to do some searches here on uh, Google Ads uh, in Keyword Planner find suitable keywords which have a decent amount of traffic and with low competition and then copy these keywords into your picture so just do this as right click and paste repeat the same process for every low competition keyword which has decent amount of traffic so this example may not be the best one but you get the point Find keywords which have average monthly searches the highest possible, so uh, ideally 10k to 100k and with lowest possible competition. Go to low or medium if you have, uh, but don't go to those with highest. Then copy all other uh, keywords that are of interest to you to the picture tag. So here you're going to see all of these tags. Do this so on and so on until you fill this uh, with enough tags that you are going to need, uh, that you think are going to need, and then click apply. Uh, once this is applied, then you go here and uh, go to your studio, and down below where it says upload thumbnail, go to that thumbnail and upload this. Okay, then click save and this is going to be the thumbnail for this video. Okay, so before I quit, I want to invite you to check my channel here and see all of these awesome videos that I have been pouring for the past couple of months where I explain various ways on how you can make money online or various other tips and tricks on how to succeed in ranking your videos using ready to promote them or simply for uh, moving through freelancing ecosystem. So don't forget to leave me those likes and subscribe to my channel as that really helps YouTube algorithm serve my videos to wider audiences. Until next video.